Consider the following problem. If the normal rate of interest is 24% per year on six month investments, what is the accumulation of 100 pounds after four years? So if we um, deposited, if we invested 100 pounds after four years, how much money would we have? Now, suppose the effective rate of interest per six months is I. So every six months, uh, I was paid as the interest. And after four years, we would have alter EI four times one year, 100 at zero. But we have not been given the effective rate per, of interest for six months. We have been given the nominal rate of interest per year. Yeah, per year. So how then do we proceed? Consider an effective rate of interest of 1% paid at the end of each month. Yeah, so every month, 1% is paid as interest. Observe, 1% per month, as one year is equal to 12 months, is the same as 1% per y over 12. Using arithmetic, that's the same as 1% times 12 over one year. Again, if we just apply basic arithmetic, we can see that's the same as 1% times 12 over a year, which is 12% per year. So we say that 1% per month effective is equal to 12% per year nominal convertible per month. Yeah? Because the, because of this, this, that's what this you know, equality means. Yes? So 1%, if you have like 1% per month effective, then that tells you that yes, every month you can pay 1% interest. But if it's 12% per year nominal, then we have to first convert it to 1% to, to the effective rate before we know exactly how much we're going to pay each month. Now let's look at the general case. If we have an effective rate of interest I per M, and we wish to convert it to a nominal rate of interest per Y, where A times Y is equal to B times M, then observe I over M, so I per M, remember that I per M is just the same as I divided by M, so I over M is equal to, just substitute for M, since A times Y equals B times M, then M equals A times Y over B, then we apply arithmetic, because what we're doing is we're heading for an expression where we will have um, Y on the bottom, or if you like, something divided by Y. Yes, and that'll be something per Y. So, first we swap using basic arithmetic rules. And then again, we just move the brackets across. Again, this is just basic um, you know, division and multiplication. There's nothing strange here. But since we, we want to get an expression where Y is something divided by Y. So we'll apply one more transformation. And then we have I times B over A divided by Y. And then we can just change that since anything per y is equal to x over y so this divided by y is equal to i times b over a per y and so this is our nominal interest rate per y and we will just introduce a nice function e to n so given a b i e to n a b i will be the same as i times b over a so our i over m is the same as e to n a b i per y. So i per m is equal to e to n a b i per y. Now, suppose we're given nominal interest. We've just seen how to convert an effective rate of interest into a nominal rate of interest. But suppose we're given a nominal rate of interest. What is the equivalent effective rate? I want to think about that for a moment. Well, of course, as given, we can't answer the question because we haven't been given the compounding frequency. We don't know, you know, the uh, frequency with which the effective interest will be paid. So let's try again. Suppose we're given a nominal rate of interest of 12% per year convertible per quarter. What is the equivalent effective rate then? Well, now we can't answer this because we know that the interest is paid every three months because a quarter is three months. So we can calculate. 12% per year, one year is equal to four times three months. So we have 12% per year is equal to, is, so we have 
for the year is equal to 12 percent per four times three months then we just apply arithmetic because we want um, an expression per three months so that's 12 over 4 and then basic arithmetic 3 percent per three months so 12 percent per year nominal is equal to 3 percent per three months effective so okay now again let's look at the general case if we have a nominal rate of interest r per y we wish to obtain the effective rate of interest per m where a times y is equal to b times m we have r per y since a times y is equal to b times m what m is equal to a times y over b sorry so yeah it is but in this case we want to substitute for y so y is equal to b times m over a and then again we just do our arithmetic transformations yeah we uh, we, we trade this for trade the division here for a multiplication here and of course that means that we have to swap that around so b so that's so this becomes that and then again we apply arithmetic since this is the same as r times a over b times m and one more transformation because we want something per m and now we have it we have r times a over b divided by m x per y is equal to x divided by y so this divided by m is equal to r times a over b per m and one more thing we'll introduce the function n to e to convert a nominal rate of interest to an effective rate of interest we'll say n to e abr is equal to r times a over b and thus we can see that r per y nominal is equal to n to e abr per m effective okay now remember the problem we were given at the start let's see if we can solve it now if the nominal rate of interest is 24 percent per year on six monthly investments what is the accumulation of 100 pounds after four years well that's just alter e n to e 1 to 0 0.24 4 times 1 year 100 at 0 this is just you no know, 4 years and this remember we've given a nominal rate of interest so we want to convert it to an effective rate of interest once we've done that then we can use alter e so the effective rate of interest given that 1 year is equal to 2 times 6 months so 1 year is equal to 2 times 6 months so it will be n to e 1 to 0 0.24 just 24 percent so let's calculate uh, this expression we have n to e 1 to 0 0.4 is equal to remembering that this is equal to n to e a b r is equal to r times a over b so it's equal to r 0 0.24 times a which is 1 in this case over b which is 2 per 6 months and we can simplify that we just get 0 0.12 for six months so that's our effective rate so every six months our effective we paid zero 12 percent interest okay so we have alter our uh, we can now rewrite this as alter e is equal to 0 0.12 per six months four times one year 100 at zero but there's a problem the units don't match we've got our effective rate in you know per six months for half year but here we've got years but it isn't really a problem because we can just calculate four times one year since one year is equal to two times six months is equal to four times two times six months is equal to eight times six months so our expression is now alter e 0 0.12 per six months eight times six months 100 is zero now our units match so we can safely omit them for brevity and calculate alter e 0 0.128 100 at 0 is remembering our definition for alter e is equal to 100 times 1 plus 0 0.12 to the power of 8 minus 0 at 8 and by arithmetic that's just actually sorry that should be 247.60 at 8 sorry about that but so we know that after four years 
we will have one two hundred forty seven pounds sixty and we're done